Whoever you are, thanks for the save. Now keep these bastards off of us. That's the last of them. Get on over here. Mayday, Mayday! Gould, if you're still alive, this is Riggs. We need help. Over. Damn it. If anyone can hear me, this is Riggs. We've been ambushed by the 33rd. Need some help here ASAP. Jeff Riggs, now get in here before a sniper blows your goddamn head off. Of course we got a plan. About 400 yards from here is the city's main water facility. We were en route when we got pinned down. My op, Captain, is to get that damn water and cripple the whole damn 33rd. We're in the desert, kid. Water's the key to everything. Excuse me? Kid's got a mouth, Captain. You want to hear me out before shooting me down, son? I'd say you fellas owe me one. Really? Guess you can't save everyone, huh? Shit. So where's Agent Gould? Take cover! Here they come, boys. Open fire. You three move up to the restaurant. I'm gonna get my people out of here. Barricade the door. They'll give us time to escape. What the hell? You here to help us or kill us? Stop! I will return fire, goddammit! Get in. Whenever you boys are ready. Meet me in the kitchen. Yeah, you do. Keep them distracted for me. I'm on my way. Up here, saving your ass. You're welcome. Come on, you're slowing me down. Right here. Move your asses, people. There's a parking garage bottom of the stairs. What you waiting for? Get moving. Look, I ain't here to hold your hand. Fine, so I gotta catch my breath. I'd like to see you try this shit at 53. You know the CIA didn't start this war. These people were ready to rise up. We just gave them the tools. Just keep telling yourself that, kid. Watch it now. We got company. There it is, boys. The Dubai Aquatic Coliseum. By my estimation, there's nearly 45,000 gallons of H2O inside them walls. This is the heart of Dubai. Now you're catching on. My men are running interference near the front gate. They'll keep the 33rd turned the other way while we sneak in the back. They understand the meaning of sacrifice. Hmm. Door's lock. Shit. They found us. Hold them off. I'll get the door open. Ha! There we go. Doors open. Come on. Move your ass, Walker. Ain't got time to mosey. That's Zulu Squad. The 33rd's final solution to any and all of life's problems. Best keep your eyes open. Once Zulu's on the hunt, they don't stop for nothing. Come on, we're almost there. You boys secure the trucks. I'll round up what's left of my men. See you inside. No such luck. That's all of them. Everyone hold tight. Gonna be a rough ride. Gotta do better than that if they want to slow us down. Aw, oh, hell. Well, hold on, we're taking a detour. Sorry, boys. But they ain't getting this water back. No matter the cost. Shit. They blocked the road. I can plow through this, but you gotta hold them off. I'm almost through. And yes! Everyone hold on. Walker! Hey. A little help over here. I can hear you bastards talking. Follow my voice. The water's gone. That's all that matters. <laughs> Fuck. This ain't how it's supposed to end. Forget it. There's no point. Don't let me burn. <gasps> oh. Look, if people find out what he did, the whole region will declare war on us. And we'll lose. Now the world will never know. Over here! Besides, it's not like I'm walking out of here. Just do me a favor. Huh? It's funny. Gould said the same thing. What I did may not have been nice, but it was right. Wait, where the hell are you going? Walker! 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 For fuck's sake, Walker, please, I'm begging you! Ah! 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 Go on, Walker. Do it. Please. Why are you just standing there? Come on! Walker! Walker! Get back here, goddammit! Deep down, you knew we all had to die. Psychoanalysis indicates that John Conrad may be suffering from early-stage post-traumatic stress disorder, resulting from failed operations in the Afghan conflict. 
In an individual as accomplished as Conrad, PTSD could manifest as a pronounced tendency towards egomania and calcification of moral certitude. More concerning is the way in which Conrad has been lauded as the greatest military leader since Patton. Conrad has internalized these sentiments, and they may now constitute a crucial component of his psyche. It is believed that as Conrad comes under fire for failures in Afghanistan, he will likely go to extreme lengths to internally fortify belief in his reputation. Conrad will begin looking outward to explain his failures while nursing a growing paranoia toward his superiors. It is unknown how Conrad's declining mental faculties will hold up in the face of another public failure.